What's going on guys? Clifton Denny with On Your Own Outdoors. Hey guys, so today we're up here to do another true hunting speed. And today we are doing the new Matthews Phase 4. And I can tell you just as far as the last three Matthews goes, when it comes to this one, it definitely holds pretty nice. I like the way that it holds. Um, by looks, it seems pretty similar to the to the last couple models they've had, but it's supposed to be like the smoothest bow that they've had yet. So I'm excited to get in here and shoot it. So the phase four IBO is at 336 foot per second. As y'all know, what we're here to do is get that true hunting speed. So what I do guys is I set all these bows up or have the shop set them up because I don't work on bows. At a 28 inch draw, 65 pound pool and then i take a gold tip 460 grain arrow now i understand that some guys shoot more some guys shoot lighter some guys pull more longer draw lengths what we're here to do is get the average across the board and basically give you a difference in between that ibo hashtag clickbait that you see on the internet versus what you can actually expect out of the tree um, so what we're gonna do today is we take these back here into the shop, we take three shots to the chrono, we average the three together and we call it the true hunting speed. Um, this bow is a 33 axle to axle, it weighs 4.6 pounds, so for a longer bow, it's actually not that heavy. You can get this bow from a 60 pound, so it's like 60, 65, 70, and 75 pound, um, and a 27 inch draw to a 31.5. So it does kind of have a pretty wide range there. Um, but anyways, guys, I'm gonna start talking and I'm gonna start being about it. We're gonna get in here, send three arrows and see what this uh, true hunting speed really is. Let's go. What's going on, guys? We're over here in the archery range now. So again, guys, this is the Matthews Phase 4 set at a 28 inch draw, 65 pound pool, shooting a 460 grain um, gold tip. We're here to get that true hunting speed. So we're gonna shoot three shots through this um, off of the average hunter. That's what all this is about. And bounce that off of the IBO so that you can see what you can actually expect from a tree. So anyways, guys, let's start sending some arrows. Shot number one is 281. And I will tell you guys now, the last Matthews that I just love, it's not the last one that I own, but the last one that has by far been my favorite bow was the Z7 years and years ago. And it's because I claimed it was the smoothest bow that I've ever shot. And uh, this new Matthews is smooth as butter. But when you get up to these high end bows, they absolutely are just, <laughs> they're consistent. Consistency kills, right? So the first shot was 281 foot per second. Second shot was also 281 foot. Shot number three is 282 foot. I will say that I think the hype is real whenever it comes to these new Matthews. It is probably the smoothest bow that Matthews has made, in my opinion, in the last three or four models. So again, guys, that is the Matthews phase four. That is the true hunting speed. Um, if you want to check one out, come up here to Max Perry Wings and shoot it yourself. But these things are, they're smooth as butter. Um, Man, I like this bow. So anyways, guys, it was uh, 281, 281, and 282. So we're gonna call it 281 foot per second for that true hunting speed, which is absolutely cooking for this arrow set up with the draw length. Um, so anyways, and the poundage as well. I mean, that's a 65 pound pool bow shooting 280, over 280 foot per second. That is absolutely outstanding. So hey guys, that's all I got for y'all today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell up top. You never know to do a product that you just might need and you never know where we're gonna be. So until next time, guys, we'll see you from a tree.